Have you heard of mindfulness? It's the month of May, and you may not know, or maybe you do, that May is known as Mindful May. So when we speak about mindfulness, you may be conjuring up images or thoughts in your mind that you have to spend a long time meditating to get powerful benefits. Whereas this is not actually true. You don't even have to sit still with your eyes closed to practice mindfulness. As you can see right now, we're coloring in, and this is one of the many mindful activities. So Gracie, if I had to ask you what you think mindfulness means for people who don't know, what would you say to them? Just focus on the one thing that you're doing the whole time. Yep. Yeah. So all it is is completely immersing yourself in an activity. You're not thinking about doing anything else. You're not making any judgments. You're not thinking, is it good? Is it bad? You're just doing it. You're just being, aren't you? You're being in the moment, basically. And so... There are many other activities besides coloring that we can consider as mindful. So what would you say, if I had to ask you for two, what other activities could people do that are mindful? Um, listen to sounds. Listen to sounds? Which sounds? Like the rain and the waves the rain and the shore. Mm. Well, we go to the beach a lot, you can probably tell. So we like the sounds of waves and because we've had a lot of rain in Melbourne, we've had a lot of rain and we love to go to sleep to the sound of rain, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So how does it, how does it feel when you're listening to the sounds of the waves or the rain? Calm, cool and nice. Yeah, nice and calm. So that's the benefits of mindfulness because why are we doing it? Well, research, and there's many, many researchers have studied mindfulness. Um, Harvard came out saying that it improves our memory, our concentration, it boosts our immunity, it gets rid of anxiety, it helps us calm down, it also helps us regulate our emotions, which is really, really important as well for emotional intelligence. It also helps us sleep better. We know that sleep is really good for our mental and physical health as well. So a few other activities that you might like to try this month, month of May. Yoga. Yoga is a very mindful activity as well. Just walking outside with your shoes off and just notice three things you can hear, three things you can see, three things you can maybe smell. Maybe what the taste is on your tongue. Just start to notice what it is that's about or around that area that maybe you didn't even notice before. Other mindful activities, we do color. We did painting yesterday, that we did that for about half an hour, and that's all we did was coloring. Walking the dogs, gardening. We love to dig in the dirt. Um, it's, it's anything that you want it to be, as long as you're fully immersed in the activity. I hope this has been helpful and you enjoy Mindful May. I'd love to hear what you've been up to. I'm Olivia, a hypnotherapist in Melbourne. See you soon. Bye.